at uh, 2.5 and let's uh, look at some examples here of uh, 2.5. 2.5 is the correlation and best fitting lines. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off simple, nice and simple. Basically with correlation, um, the easiest way to start this is you got positive and you got negative correlations, right? Or you got no correlation. And if it appears as though you have a line that's going up in this direction. That is a line with a positive slope. Thus, if it has a positive slope, it'll have a positive correlation. If you have a line that's going down like this, that means the slope is negative, and thus it's also going to be a negative correlation. So if you notice, all the points, the trend of the points, appear to be going up in this direction. Meaning, since they're going up, this has a positive correlation. Now, is this going down? No. Is it going up? No. It's kind of all over the place. And if it's all over the place, you would say that this has no correlation because it's just kind of scattered there all over the place. OK. Best fitting line. Approximating equations for best fitting line. All right. Here's what else we're going to take a look at. Let's face it. Um, you could do this by simply graphing all these points over two, up two over 3, up 3, and then over 5, and up 4, 5, 6, 7, and then over 7, and up 5, and then over 9, and up 7. And you could try your best to draw a line straight through as many of them as you can, and try to draw a line, and you pick a point on the line, and do your line, and do all that, but let's face it here, okay? Whenever you're going to do something like this, um, the only times I can possibly see you benefiting or trying to run into this or doing any kind of trend um, with a line of best fit would be if you had some kind of computer program or calculator to use. So we're going to figure out how to use our calculator to do this. So I'm going to write down the steps in the calculator. First, grab your graphing calculator, and second, here's what I want you to do. I want you to press the stat button. So press stat. When you go to stat, the first thing that is there is an edit sign. So we're going to go to edit. So press enter on edit. See how on your list it says L1 and it has L2 and sometimes it even goes over to L3 and farther. We're going to plug in the numbers in L1 and L1 is going to be our X's. All right. So in that column, the very first thing I want you to do is plug in all your X's and plug them down the line. So 2, 3, 5, 7, and a 9. Okay. Then plug in your Y's in this column. Your Y's are 2, 3, 7, 5, and 7. So plug those all in. Okay. Once they're all in your lists, press second and mode. Remember that's what gets you back to the main screen. Once you're back into the main screen and once you typed all that in, here's what you need to do go back and press stat again. So press stat again. Then press the arrow over and get to calc. So I think it's the fourth one down on your list. All right, the fourth one down on your list. It says line reg ax plus b. I want you to press enter on that. So go down and press enter on that. And you'll see that flashing on your screen. Press enter again one more time. When you press enter one more time, you get a list. It says y equals a x plus b. OK, so you get a x plus b, right? a x plus b. And then right below that, it says a equals point six four six and B equals one point four three nine. So here's what that means. What's your line of best fit? Your line is Y equals point six four six X plus one point four we'll just round it to four. And there is your line of best fit. Taking a look at the next one, um, just to review here, once again, we press stat, so press stat, and press enter over edit, right, 
so just press enter right away because it's already on there and go to L1 so on the L1 column um, we put all of our X's so type in a 1, a 2, a 6, an 8, and a 10 so we plug those in a 1, 2, 6, 8, and 10 and you can just press enter over top of each one as well um, that'll move it right down like 1 enter, 2 enter L2 column. Just press over till you get to L2. That'll be 5, 5, 7, 8, and 8. 5, 5. So 5, enter, 5, enter, 7, enter, 8, enter, 8, enter. Okay. So now that you have all those in, press second and mode so you're back to the beginning screen. So second mode, so we're back to the beginning. Press that again one more time. Press over once. You go to calc. Right, so now you're on calc. Go down to where it says line reg. Right, so go down to where it says line reg. A X plus B, and press enter again. Then press enter one more time, and you end up getting a screen that looks like this: Y equals A X plus B, where A equals point three eight five, and B equals four point five two. So your final answer is y equals 0.385x plus 4.52. And there's your answer. Um, they're all basically the same. I could give you a list of 27 points. I could give you a list of 87 points. You all, every single time, you do it the same way. Okay, so if you have any further questions or concerns on how to use your calculator to do this, that is the best way to do this honestly you can get all the points graph them all draw a straight line through it and pick two points in the line find the slope and do all that you can this is the best way to do it honestly it's the best way to do it so if you have any other questions or concerns on how to plug this stuff in, in your calculator please let me know